Do you love rich, grainy, textured gradients? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create these type of gradients inside Canva. So let's get creating. All right, so we're gonna have a little bit of fun in Canva today and we're gonna be creating some really cool textured backgrounds. So what you wanna do first of all is decide what size page you want. So today we're just going to go with an Instagram story size and we're just gonna create some really cool backgrounds. So. And what I want you to do is go down to apps. So if you scroll down where it says apps here, and you may see it actually show up as featured, this new gradient generator. Now, if it doesn't show up on yours right there in featured, you're just gonna search up here when it says Cam search Canva apps and search gradient generator. So we're going to go into that and press open. So it's given us this generator to create these really cool gradients. So what you want to do first of all is choose what colors you want. So if you want to do this for your brand, you may want to put your actual brand colors in. If this is just for fun, you may want to put just random colors in whatever you like. So it's really up to you what you're creating. All right, so once you put those colors in, you're happy with your color palette, you want to lock the color palette. Now, if you don't care about what colors you get, you just want to play around and see what you come up with, you can straight away go to randomize. But when you do that, it will actually change the colors. So if you really want to stick with this exact color palette, you're going to want to lock the palette. Now, if you don't have that many colors, or you want less, you can always double up. So you could always do two of the same color if you don't want that many colors. So it's totally up to you. Once you've locked the colors in, then you want to consider the noise level. So how much texture, how much of that gradient noise do you want in it? And as you can see, as you pull it up, it will show you just how much it's going to give it. It will show you just how much it's going to give it. How much of that grain you want? Now we can press randomize and now what it's going to do is put that gradient in different places and in different ways so you can just go through keep clicking randomize until you find one that you love. Once you've found one that you love you just click add to design. Now what it's going to do is put this square on your page so you can resize it to fill your page and there you go you've got this beautiful cool gradient texture that's really grainy and really rich and interesting and so much more cool than the gradients you could normally do in Canva. Now it doesn't stop there though, there is more that we can do with this. So if we go and add a new page, the other thing that we can do, if we go over to elements and frames, because these gradients are being generated as an image, we can put them in frames. So this is where we can have a bit of fun with it. So you can choose a frame that you want to use. So something I thought was a really fun thing to do is to get some blobs. So let's put some blobs on the page. Now we're going to go back to apps and the gradient generator. Now we can use that first one we already had if we wanted to, so we can make a copy of it and put it into the frame there. So to put it into the frame, you just drag and drop it in. So you just drag it, hover it over with your mouse until it goes in and then let go. So let's make another one. So let's just try randomize and get some cool ones random in here that we might like. So as you can see, if you just go with randomize, it's going to pick any old colors. And you might want to do that if you aren't really set on a particular color scheme, or you may think, oh, I really love that, but maybe I just want this one color tweaked and you can go in and tweak that color. So it's really up to you how you want to go about that, depending on what you're trying to achieve, basically. So we can add that one to design. We can drop that one in this one. And just like any image, you can double click to and you can resize it. So if you just want one section of it, you can do that as well. All right, so now we've got our three here that we put in our blobs. And then for our background, maybe we'll add one more. So let's make one more. And let's make this our actual background. Oops. So we're going to go to layer center back to make that the background. Now we're going to have a bit of fun with this. So what you need to do now is really think about how it's sitting on the page and make sure everything is correct. So that's full screen there. We like where these are positioned. And now what we're going to do is download that page as a PNG. So you're going to go to download PNG. If you want, you might want to up the size. If you want to make the resolution really high, that's completely up to you. So we're going to download that one. So now we're going to make a new page here. And to go to uploads, we're going to upload that file we've just made. We're going to place this on our page now, and then we're going to go to edit photo. So make sure you've clicked on it, then click edit photo. 
Now we need to go back to the old editor. So this new editor it doesn't have all these really fun things that you used to be able to do. So what we're going to choose here is prefer the old editor. Now they're saying they're going to get rid of it April 22nd. So I don't know if this is going to stick around or you'll still be able to do this. You may be able to find other tools to it. They may add other things you can do, the things you used to be able to do. But for now, you're going to go to prefer old editor and take me to right, the old editor. So now editor. we're in the old editor and we're going to click on liquify. Go back. We can go to smear and this one is where it gets really cool things like smear so the amount here and then it's like really smudging it and making it really cool we can press apply and you can always do more than one so you could say apply on that and now let's do another thing on top so we can go back into liquify again and maybe this time we want to try flow and we can play with the amount And as you can see, you can start to get these really cool, crazy effects and really interesting backgrounds that are really unique. Now, going back to this one I had here, this is another one I created where I did three blobs exactly the same. So go back into Edit Image again and Liquify. Let's try some different ones. So let's try Wobble. And this one, it starts to warp it, which is really cool. You can warp those shapes go to smudge maybe and then add a little bit of that as well and see so just looking at these backgrounds we're starting to get these really awesome really interesting backgrounds that are quite unique and really fun and different now we can also do some interesting things using the regular gradient so let's make a background color and go to elements and just choose a shape so maybe just choose regular box now you're going to go to color and choose gradient and you're going to choose one color that you like and the other one transparent like that and you're going to turn it around now what we're going to do is duplicate it and flip that one around and then make it go together up here so we create something like this now we can select both of them and duplicate it over and over now again we want to go to share download Then, then again, add new page, upload, upload our new design. And go back to edit image and liquify. And then we're going to play around with nuns again. So we might try smear. You can also try a wobble. And we can start to really warp it like that. So now with this one, if we wanted to add more of that grainy texture, we can actually go up here to text. We can actually go up here to elements and search grain texture. We can grab one of these grainy textures. So just see so what this one's got. a free one here. We can add it. And you can place it on top and you can just use it as is like that if you wanted to or if you wanted to you can also go up to transparency and put the transparency down if you want to put it down a little bit and that way you can add a little bit of texture to this one too so now having a look as you can see we'll get rid of this original here we've been able to create these really cool fun like textures are really trippy and textured and gradient and really fun and different or just using Canva. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you give it a go and try create some really awesome backgrounds for your graphics, creating really rich textured and interesting gradients. Now, if you'd like to learn more about branding, graphic design and using Canva, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time.